Russia's invasion of Ukraine has brought attention to the significance of main battle tanks in contemporary warfare. Ukraine is set to receive a shipment of Western armored vehicles, including Challenger, Leopard, and Abrams MBTs in the coming months. The M1 Abrams, a tank series manufactured in the US, has served as the Army's primary armored vehicle for more than 40 years. The Abrams tank, which has gained significant recognition, has undergone several updates throughout its existence. Its predecessor, the original M1 Abrams, was adopted by the U.S. Army in 1980 and named after the commander of U.S. forces during Vietnam War, General Abrams. The Abrams M1A2 SCP V4, also known as the M1A2D, represents the latest iteration within the Abrams M1A2 tank family. It serves as an upgraded version of the M1A2 Abrams SCP V3, boasting enhanced capabilities and features, and is expected to be the most powerful tank in the Abrams family so far. In March, the head of Army acquisition revealed that the Army was considering long-term plans for a new version of the Abrams tank, which is reflected in the fiscal 2024 budget. According to Breaking Defense, the tank's primary manufacturer, General Dynamics Land Systems, is currently focused on delivering the SCPV-3 variant and completing the SCPV-4 variant while also considering future developments. The upgraded M1A2 series tanks have now been serving as the backbone of the U.S. military armored forces and are expected to remain operational further than 2050. So, how powerful is the M1A2 Abrams SCPV-4? The overall layout of this variant remains similar to its predecessor, with the driver positioned at the front of the hull, the turret in the middle, and the engine located at the rear. Equipped with a 120mm M256 smoothbore gun, the Abrams M1A2 SCP V4 has the capacity to fire various types of ammunition, including high explosive anti tank and armor piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot rounds. Its secondary armament comprises a 7.62 mm coaxial machine gun mounted to the right of the main gun, as well as a remotely operated weapon station situated on the turret roof, armed with a 12.7 mm heavy machine gun. Additionally, the tank is outfitted with smoke grenade launchers positioned on each side of the turret. These launchers are utilized to generate a smoke screen, obscuring the tank's movements and concealing it from the enemy. However, that's not all. According to a report released by the Pentagon's Office of the Director Operational Test and Evaluation last year, the M1A2 SCP V4 incorporates various new equipment and enhancements to existing systems. Some of the notable additions are an improved gunner's primary sight featuring a third generation forward looking infrared sensor, an upgraded laser rangefinder, and a full color video camera. An upgraded commander's primary sight equipped with a third generation FLIR, a full color video camera, a laser pointer, and a rangefinder. Enhancements to lethality, including the integration of a digital data link that enables communication with the Army's new reprogrammable XM 1147 Advanced Multipurpose Round for the tank's 120mm main gun. Introduction of a new onboard meteorological sensor capable of collecting various types of data to enhance accuracy. Upgrades to the communications, data sharing, and onboard diagnostic systems. According to previously released information from the Army, the SCPV-4 variant of the tank will also include a laser warning receiver system. This system aims to enhance survivability by alerting the crew when targeting lasers associated with guided anti-tank missiles and other weapons are directed towards them. Additionally, alongside the SCPV-4 development, the Army has been working on integrating trophy active protection systems onto its existing M1A2 tanks. Furthermore, the SCPV-4 will feature an improved thermal management system to address the increased heat generated by the new electronics and their associated power sources. In the pictures of the prototype vehicle from Yuma Testing Grounds in Arizona, the new meteorological sensor is clearly visible. Additionally, the tank exhibits boxy protrusions resembling horns on each side of the front of the turret, whose purpose is not immediately evident. According to Driver, it is possible that these protrusions are components of the laser warning receiver system. According to the Army's budget request for the fiscal year 2023, the SEPV-4 or future variants of the Abrams tank could potentially incorporate various improvements. 
These improvements may include vehicle smoke generation, enhancements to survivability, improvements in signature management, embedded training enhancements, the integration of 360-degree situational awareness cameras, and efforts to reduce weight. From a popular M1A2 Abrams tank. As explained earlier, that rather than choosing a completely new main battle tank, the U.S. Army has decided to proceed with the fourth upgrade of the M1A2 Abrams, known as SCPV-4. Overall, the various iterations of the Abrams tank, including the SCPV-4, are widely regarded as having exceptional armor protection. This protection is achieved through the utilization of depleted uranium armor mesh and the ability to incorporate additional explosive reactive armor, effectively shielding against a broad range of anti-tank munitions. In the case of the SCPV-4, there are further enhancements to the armor protection, which involve the installation of upgraded armor packages on both the hull and turret, providing an even higher level of safeguarding. To ensure the survival of the crew, Abrams tanks employ various measures alongside their advanced armor designs that prioritize protection. In the M1A2 Abrams, the ammunition storage is strategically arranged to enhance safety. The majority of the ammunition is stored in a separate turret bustle, equipped with blowout panels, which effectively isolates it from the fighting compartment. Additionally, some rounds are stored in protective containers within the hull. This configuration guarantees that if the turret bustle is struck, the ammunition will detonate without posing a threat to the crew. Furthermore, the interior of the Abrams is lined with Kevlar, which acts as a protective layer, minimizing spalling in the event of armor penetration. These precautions significantly enhance crew protection and increase their chances of survival. Furthermore, the SCPV-4 enhanced version includes a new digital battlefield management system that improves situational awareness and networking capabilities. The driver's display and control system have also been upgraded, featuring a new color display and improved controls for the driver. Additionally, a new air conditioning system has been included to enhance crew comfort in extreme temperature conditions. The Army has announced its plan to have the M1A2 SCPV-4 Abrams tank ready and conduct initial operational drills by 2025, marking the mid-decade time frame. With a variety enhancement in place, will Abrams SCPV-4 tank become unstoppable MBT of the US? That's all for today and thanks for watching.